Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing a quick speedtest comparison of two phones in the 30,000 price segment. We have the newly launched Moto 860 Pro 5G and we also have the segments, uh, one of the best uh, all-round device, the OnePlus Nord 4. Now, the OnePlus Nord 4 is relatively cheaper now because it's almost a year since uh, the launch has happened. But Moto 860 Pro uh, is the newer device which is priced around 29999 for the uh, 8 gigabyte RAM variant. So, let's see how good are the performance of these two devices is so uh, in terms of hardware there is a difference uh, this is a dimensity 8350 octagon processor which is a very good uh, mid-range chip and uh, we have the snapdragon 7 plus gen 3 once again a very good chip so let's just go to the about phone on these two devices so about device and here we can see here Moto H60 Pro 5G and uh, this has Android of, uh, 15 out of the box and the Hello UI and here we have uh, uh, the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 once again Android 15 and uh, uh, we have OnePlus Oxygen OS 15. So that's the uh, hardware aspects and the software aspects. So let's uh, see which of these performs really uh, well. Both of these devices have LPDDR 5X RAM and UFS 4.0 storage. So let's uh, start the speed test. So let's open with uh, these 16 apps so but then before that let's just clear off all the background apps and let's see the network settings both are connected to the same wi-fi network let's start the speed test uh, opening asphalt uh, unite first so let's see which opens asphalt unite faster now both have the game mode enabled let's see which opens uh, this faster So Moto has taken the lead here, slightly faster Moto. Next is uh, BGMI. Let's see BGMI which opens faster. Now you got to remember that uh, OnePlus Nord 4 is almost a year old device, almost like 8 to 10 months old device. Uh, so here you can see here OnePlus has taken the lead and it opened it faster. While this is taking a lot of time here. So finally this has opened. So uh, BGMI took a lot of time on Moto. Next is Play Store. Almost same time. Chrome browser. Uh, I think Mo OnePlus was slightly faster. Facebook. Again OnePlus uh, is slightly faster. Twitter. Here Moto is faster. Instagram. I think Moto was faster. Spotify. Uh, OnePlus is faster. Amazon. So we'll just skip that. Flipkart. I think OnePlus is slightly faster here. Uh, File Manager. Almost same time. Settings is uh, faster on OnePlus. YouTube. Faster on uh, Moto. Gmail faster on uh, OnePlus, camera almost same time and finally maps. So maps uh, you would say almost similar time. So you could see here both are really good powerful uh, mid-range devices in terms of uh, uh, the processor and the hardware offered. The next year is the memory management. Let's see uh, which performs better. So let's uh, see which all apps are retained in the memory. Now this is 8GB RAM while this is 12GB RAM so you can clearly see that now this has reloaded uh, YouTube settings available file manager available Flipkart is again reloaded available once again it is reloaded on Moto now available again reloaded so OnePlus has kept all the apps in the memory but uh, uh, Moto has reloaded a lot of them uh, finally the games so once again you can see here moto has reloaded and finally asphalt asphalt both has reloaded so already could see that um, uh, oneplus not did have an edge in terms of uh, a memory management it is really good uh, we could see only one app being reloaded while moto even with 8 gigabyte ram the optimization in the background doesn't seem that impressive it needs a bit more optimization so that was uh, the memory management. Next, let's go to the uh, raw benchmark score. So Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 versus uh, uh, the Dimensity 8350. You can see here, not much different, around 1 lakh difference in terms of anti-to score. Both are re 
really good but you can see a cp score is uh, considerably higher on uh, the snapdragon 7 plus gen 3 the gpu is very similar and other uh, scores are also quite similar now next uh, let's uh, see the storage test so storage test uh, will just uh, perform on this device so you can see here uh, on uh, oneplus nord 4 uh, 1,55,383 it's ufs 4.0 and it's a pretty good score here so you can see here uh, 1,85,000 and 1,55,000 so this is definitely good random access is way higher on the moto but both are ufs uh, 4.0 now finally the geekbench test so we have performed the test uh, here so we'll just take the uh, result here so 1312 is a single core while this is more powerful 1766 and multi core here you can see a 4300 while this is 3895 so both of these devices are really good actually in terms of performance both uh, has similar experience uh, the memory management is uh, not that great on the moto uh, 860 pro 5g but otherwise both are quite good now the software experience is definitely different uh, motos hello ui and uh, oxino s15 so that's a personal choice so which of these two devices did you like and which one would you pick if uh, software and performance would be your uh, major aspect so do let us know your thoughts in the comment section this is signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day